The sea devils were related to the Silurians, though they were genetically divergent enough to create problems for the offspring of such matings. Pros. The scales of injustice. Like the Silurians, variations existed among the sea devils with different subspecies and appearances. Sea devils typically looked somewhat like humanoid turtles or plesiosaurs. They had beak-like mouths, large eyes, two fins on their head and long necks. They had three webbed digits on their hands and feet. Their skin tones came in a variety of shades, including green, blue and orange. They were much tougher than humans, since they needed to survive the crushing depths of the ocean. Sea devils communicated in a language like sonar, but they could speak human languages in a whispering, rasping voice. TV, the sea devils. A sea devil's skin was slimy to the touch. Pros, the Silurian gift. One group of sea devil warriors, which appeared at Sea Base 4, were notably distinguished by their silver skin and their lack of head fins. TV, Warriors of the Deep, another subspecies of sea devil, suggested by the Twelfth Doctor to be a warrior class, were larger, faster, and stronger than those that he was familiar with. Their muscular body sported dark green skin, small red eyes, a pronounced jaw, and a large tail. They lived on the Raven Peninsula. They could communicate using a form of sound-based telepathy and could use this ability as a weapon by producing a deadly sonic scream. Comic. Clara Oswald and the School of Death. There also existed a class of sea devils who were much smaller, about the size of an infant human, that could merge with a human host, creating a human sea devil hybrid but with the sea devil psyche dominating its host. They possessed the sound-based abilities of their warrior class counterparts but also displayed potent psionic powers, specifically telekinesis. The Twelfth Doctor explained that this was a side effect of two minds merging into one. Comic. Clara Oswald and the School of Death. 